Hello everyone, Will here from uh, Playthroughs with Will, and uh, we've been working hard on our building. We got our sick nasty solar panel, or so solar flower that I've been upgraded, upgrading. So we got like a ton of power coming out. I put more MFEs, kind of upped it, so we got like three now, or two. So now, uh, I wanted to make... A, like a big red power building uh, but first I wanted to actually make some thing called a uh, alchemical bag it's pretty cool precious sure is how you make it you just need some wool yep some covalence dust and some in an alchemical chest so for our building you can actually put stuff in this it's pretty cool anyways for our building it's gonna be a nice big red power building with all the red powery stuff in it. Okay, I'm thinking making I'm just gonna you guys are gonna watch me make it. It's gonna be pretty pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna put down the floor and then begin the structural part of it because it's 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 gotta be it's gotta be awesome. I mean it's red power. One of my favorite parts of this uh mod tech it. It's gonna help us get to the end because the end is pretty awesome. And as you can see I do not have a dog. No dog with me today. I'm sad. But you know it's okay. So I was thinking of putting like some kind of it's gonna have a double door. Then uh, I was thinking maybe using just fences for uh, windows or something. I don't know. You guys can just watch it come alive with me. Uh, I was thinking maybe put some wood. Yeah, I don't like that. Um, maybe like this. Let's see how our I like this. This is looking good. Oh, Rick T. Oh yeah, and now we might need a l little bit more uh, fence than uh, I originally anticipated, but you know it's okay. We can just transmit some. I have some uranium and stuff that I don't need at this moment. Okay, and. Put the wood down. Now after this, I was, oh, I was thinking of maybe putting a quarry down, but that's that'll take. That's that's a new. That's another episode. Cause that takes way too long. Okay, now above this. Something water over here. Sounds like there's a skeleton down here. Oh, hello, skeleton. Oh, there's two. Oh, crap. Oh, balls. We can just beat them down. It's okay, no problem. You can just put that stuff in there, which is cool. Even dirt. Oh, uh oh. The 
that's in the dirt. Okay. So now let's get our supplies. Ah, oh, it's too much stuff. Here, I don't think we'll need a needle sh I don't think we'll need a shovel, so we can just do this, yep. Okay. So I wanted to see what this would kind of look like. So just that all around. Oop, not one. So if we just do this, we just switch back and forth. Oh crap. This is where we need some scaffolding. Could have made some, but I kind of forgot how to. And I think I might need some cobblestone slabs. Oh, okay. This might take a while, so I might just be through this. Okay, I will. I'll just speed this part up. So I'll, I'll be back in a little bit. Peace. Okay, I'm back. Um, so for this level, I'm actually going to kind of step it up. So we'll put some more fences. Maybe put some lights up here. And uh, it looks pretty good. And uh, so let's put some fences down.
Nicely done. Oh yeah, now we are just owning this. I think we'll just put up here just um stone slab or uh wooden slabs. Okay, nice. Now can we put any torches up here? That is the true question. I guess not. Put them here though, which is good. Because we have to illuminate this or else a whole bunch of monsters will come and just bombard us. Okay, so we got the frame done. It's pretty nice, I like it. Now I'm just going to put some torches all around here. And, um, nice. Now we're going to illuminate the uh, insides. Oh, crap. Oh, I turned on Matt Mouse. No. I can hear water, which isn't good, but, you know, you got to deal with it. Okay, let's go ahead and make some nice doors to protect us. And with doors, you need good old fresh pads. And we need our crafting table because... Oh, made a... Nice. Okay. Good. Some torches up here. Some monsters don't spawn up there. And now we uh that was really good. I was thinking maybe a design of something in here. Put some marble brick. Oh, yeah. Let's see if this works. Skip two. Get two. Oh, nice. Now, what are we doing here? We gotta have an inner one because... We don't want it just to be all bland and not cool looking. <laughs> oh, but it's even. Okay, this is good, I guess. It does look kind of. Oh, wait, hang on. Can do that. Nice. Improvements. Okay. Got a cool design in here. We're doing good. Now we're gonna make. I'm gonna put all this stuff 
that we just use into the good old a chemical bag. And you can sort that. I'm just going to take some of the necessities, including brick, food. We do need a crafting table. You can actually place that like right here. Would be good. So as you can see, I searched up how to make an alloy furnace. It's pretty easy. You just need a brick, and that's what we're going to actually make right now, just to get started our uh, our red power thing, Jig. So put that right there. And uh, so you start off with uh, having to power it with coal. So let's go grab some coal. And uh, that's Will's house. Yeah, actually, I'll I'll bring you in a tour of his house at the moment. It might change in future videos. Yeah, nice little room here. It's, it's, he says it's going to be a dome up there, but you know, you never know. He's got. <laughs> he's only going to use generators, and he's only going to use bat boxes. He's going to be the power p place I just kinda like there Let's see what he's got down here oh, he's like mining or something and uh... This, that's his room this is where his globe or whatever was gonna be ouch okay let's go to my house and uh... let's go and grab Of coal. Let's just use charcoal. So, in order to make red alloy and uh, like aloe, blue alloy, you uh, use redstone and copper. Put them in there and then uh, put the charcoal in, and as you can see, it starts to uh, smelt them together. I'm pretty sure it uses four redstone, yeah, four redstone and one copper. Now to make a blue alloy furnace, your blue electric furnace, we need um blue alloy which is act which is actually which is actually nickelite and silver. So I'm gonna let that go in there, let that roll. And uh I'm gonna go get some nickelite and silver. So I'm I'm, pretty, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get sixteen silver, and I'm gonna go ahead and get sixty four nickelite because I'm pretty sure it's one to four. Yeah, one to four. Actually, I'm gonna get thirty two. There you go, and then two stacks is sixty four. The good thing about this is you can just leave it all in the furnace and it'll it'll all cook up and uh, eventually be done. So let's grab this. Um once we once that cooks up we uh can do that. So now we have, Oh no, never mind. Okay, let's just it's all done. Let's put our stuff in there. We only need one blue alloy ingot, which is good. Nice and easy. Nice. So now we're gonna go ahead. Oh, we need to go grab some iron. I forgot. Oops. Two iron. Uh, we'll do for this. So go in my chest. Grab some of that. Now we can come all the way back to our majestic red tower. Or red, red power tower, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know. And we can uh, create this masterpiece. So all you need is one blue alloy. There you go. Some brick. So I'm gonna put that right there. See, you don't use charcoal for this. It's, I don't know if you can see, but right there's a little battery and there's electricity. For this one, you actually use. Um, electricity so uh, you, you uh, you're gonna need to make some solar panels which have blue doped uh, which use blue doped wafers 
and we get a wafer from silicone pool. It takes eight charcoal and eight sand to get one silicone pool. Whew, that sucks. So, I think that's good enough for now. We're gonna go grab, we're gonna have to go ma actually make a diamond, we need a diamond handsaw, that sucks. Okay, so uh, once I make, once I go ahead and make a uh, diamond handsaw, and um, once I go, once I get, once I make my diamond handsaw and get the uh, silicone bulls, I'll be back. Or then I'll start the clip up again, so uh, I'll be back. Okay, guys, we're back, and um, got all my stuff. I got a whole bunch of sand. Oh, and I'm just gonna be pounding through all my charcoal, which sucks, but you know it's okay. Um, I just wanted you guys to know that if you actually have a philosopher stone and press C on it, it opens a crafting table. And with that, you can um, take all your coal you have and just turn it into charcoal, which is great, you know. So I can just load that all up in there. Look at all these silicone things. And so, it said you just take your diamond handsaw. Oh my god, that gives you a lot. I'm going to actually be rolling in this stuff. Oh yeah, I might actually have too much, but it's okay. More is better than not that much. Okay, so once we have these silicone wafers, we mix them with nickelite. So I can actually stop that and uh go ahead and put these with those. And uh get a perfect stack of sixty four. Makes it there, and it brings out blue doped wafers. So we'll have a lot of them. I'm actually gonna go run and oh, my sprint ran out. I'm actually gonna go grab some more um, nickelite. We have an abundance of it, and uh, you know. You gotta spend it sometime. I'm liking this tower though. Oh, nice. So for each for each uh, solar panel, you need eight blue doped wafers, wafer, wafer, whatever, and one alloy. So I um, I got eight alloy, which wh which will do. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and start creating some red or some blue aloe wire. Ah, oh, okay, so now I think we're only going to make, so we're going to need, let me do my calculations. Let's make another furnace. That'll do. Put it right on next to it. Do my charcoal. Mm. Borrow. Let's just borrow a stack. And, um, start getting some more new alloy wire. Meanwhile, while that's happening, I'm actually going to go ahead, come up here. Get some wool, leave one behind. And uh how much is wool actually? Seems to be a lot. So let's just waste some of that. So now we have nine wool. Which is good for twelve wires. Twelve and a half wires. Oh nice, we're uh, rolling in blue doped wafers. So we take our blue alloy, 
grab our wool, put it on the sides. And there you go. You get a blue alloy wire. And okay, and now I'll like okay, now we're gonna try and create a a battery box. Which takes a lot of stuff. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff in this. So we need four BT batteries, which contain all this. One blue alloy. Alright, I think we can do it. Wait a minute. Alright. We can do it. It's okay. We got this. New sweat. Copper, alloy, nickelite. Some tin. Copper. I already forgot. What is it? Um, nickelite. Okay. Right. So we're going to press that button. So we need four of each. Or four of these. So we gotta put four copper, four tin, and I'm actually missing one. There you go. Okay, we got four BT batteries. All we need is three iron ingots and one piece of wood, one plank. So just grab one random piece of wood and plank and one, two, three iron. Okay, now we got this. I'm gonna push this question mark on this right there. Nice. Um, put all the things in the highlighted spots. Blue alloy there and add the piece of wood. Nice. Now, I'm pretty sure we need a silver wrench. Yeah, this is it this wrench? Or is it the screwdriver? Pretty sure it's actually the screwdriver. Which is quite simple to make. Sonic screwdriver. Okay, I think it's this. Just okay, one stick and one piece of iron makes just this normal screwdriver. Which is what we need, I'm pretty sure. And use this screwdriver to uh, switch the directions of battery boxes and all sorts of stuff. Uh, yeah, nice. I don't like how we're working in the dark. Kind of scares me. There could be uh, creepers and stuff just chilling out in any direction. Okay, now let's see. Oh, okay, now. Nice. We are rolling in the dough. I'm actually lagging quite a lot for some reason. I don't know why. And we just... There you go. Okay. We're still kind of lagging. It's okay, though. Actually, we're really lagging. Okay, so I'm going to try and assemble this quick. Hopefully, you guys can bear through the lag. Um, crap, this is just ruining the ending of this video. Okay, so let's just uh, go ahead, put these solar panels together, and end this video. I've got the, I don't know, is there any more? Hmm. Oh, it sucks. Hang on, let me just... Okay, that's that's helping us a little bit. Okay, so you gotta put the blue alloy ingots in the middle. Okay. Glitching out. Oh, nice. Okay, so we got four, four of those. This isn't this isn't really that good. We need actually one. Come on, just one more. What is it? Sand. What do we need again? Make that nickelite. I'll be back. Oh, actually, it's not lagging, so you just can't see at all. My, so you can't even see the house down there. Okay, let's grab some nickelite. 
and roll on down to the red power tower and put that in we just need one more for five I don't even think five is enough but yeah, it sucks man we just need this last one so you wrap it around around town put that in the middle okay we got five so now I'm gonna show you how to hook this up and then we'll end the video so come back here I don't even think you need a screwdriver. It's okay though. It's better to have one than not to have one. So you need to power this, so you gotta put these solar panels here. And we should it's not working. Oh, Come on, baby. Yeah, it's working. It's just working really, really slowly because five is really not that much. Five, uh, five solar panels is not that much. But over time, I will, uh, add more. It's not that hard. It just takes a long time. And I, I will actually show you. I don't know if you have enough power, but this should work in here. Maybe not. It does not have enough power. I think this needs to fill up and then it'll work. So we'll just put this back. I just need that. Actually, we can make one more in like two seconds. Oh, whoa, nice. Look at that. Let's just see if I uh, pull some of these out. Oh, yeah, it just does not have a lot of power energy. But it's working. Look, it's pretty, it's going pretty fast too. So no more red alloy furnaces burning up coal. Out with the old, in with the new. Blue electric furnaces. Nice. Okay, guys, this has been this video. Um, check out my other videos if you haven't seen them. And uh, peace out. Bye. Hey guys, it's Will here. I'm in the nether, and um, I found this amazing fortress, nether fortress or whatever they're called, I have no idea. And I set down some waypoints because I found something that is a very awesome contributor to our, to our goal in this series. Um, and it's, 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 no, it's not that one, it's that one, right there. That waypoint. We are going to head to that waypoint, actually, right now. Because we have to get stuff that's there. To get, to find the end portal. As you can see, I killed some magma cubes. And, um, got their little stuff. We were really far away from our portal. I actually didn't even waypoint my portal, so it's going to be really hard trying to find that. <gasps> oh, God. Die, die, die. Yes! Please, Rod. Oh, Jesus. I'm dying. Heal up. I have no armor. I'm going in, like, naked. Screw you, you piece of crap. No, 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 no. <gasps> no! No! <sighs> I gotta get there. I'll be back when I get there. I'll be back. Oh. Okay, guys. I'm back. I had to fight off those crazy guys. I did not get... Any more blaze rods though? There's like three of here, three of me, three of them here, just chilling out. 
I murdered them, but they did not drop anything, which was sad. Whoa. Oh crap. I did waypoint the portal, and I'm lagging like really bad for some reason. This is what the nether does to me, I don't know why. We have to make it over there. Actually, we do have one blaze rod, so I think we should just head back. The treacherous journey back. I am thinking I will just resume when I get there, but yeah, I think I'm I'm just gonna resume when I get there. I'll be back right back, guys. Hold on. <laughs> 